I'm Luke. I'm Frank. And this is Whiskey Bible. Let's get started. All right. First video, first thoughts tonight. We decided to compare the regular Woodford Reserve and the Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. So I think we're going to start with the Woodford Reserve. It's coming in at 90.4 proof. This one, uh, we've tried this before, uh, but it didn't really stand out to us uh, at the price point. It was just a little, uh, a little standard, a little average for thirty nine dollars, I believe. You know how much we paid this time? Um, I did not off the top of my head. I think it was like thirty eight ninety nine. That's probably around the same price. Prices have been going up, but I don't think Woodford has changed too much. Yeah, I think they're about the same. But as far as the flavor, I remember uh, liking Elijah Craig a little better. Mm. Um, about the same flavor profile. So right away on the nose, getting some floral notes, vanilla. Typical bourbon notes, I would say, being a young whisketeer. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Very sweet. Get some nice, really, Ooh, really mint. hard on like... Mint. Yeah. A little mint, mint mixed in with like you know some vanilla and some some darker fruit notes. Kind of a lighter color. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't have an age statement, but I would guess probably around six to eight years. All right, let's go in for a main palate. Cheers, Cheers. to you, sir. Ring a ding ding. I, mean, I don't know about you, but that's pretty much how I remember the regular Woodford being very mellow. Um, not a whole bunch jumping out at me. At that price point, I think it was a lot better just on the main palette, personally. Um, yeah, I would say about what I remember. It's definitely nice. I've, I feel like over time, it kind of my opinion of it worsened since we haven't had it in probably a year. At least. We'll have to look back in the Bible to see. We yeah. It. We have a whole Bible of every bourbon <laughs> we've tried since probably about a year and a half ago. So finishes kind yeah. of funky. I thought it I thought it was nice. Like a bit of oak on the finish. It's not you know, it's not as dry as most bourbons that I remember. Like I feel like a lot of bourbons are dry, and I think that's got to do with something with them not aging the wood long enough, like outside. I guess that's what I understand. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. So what do you think? Is that about all that with the Woodford Reserve flagship? <laughs> yeah, I think that that's about good. I think it's, um, it's a decent bourbon. It has some nice flavors, but it's not as complex I would say is some of the stuff we usually like, uh, but ninety proof. But uh, let me say this: I'm a proof guy. You will learn that. But my perfect proof range is between a hundred and one twenty, somewhere right around there. So anytime I go any lower than that, stuff starts to taste watered down to me. Um, I feel like it's a lot easier to proof yourself up in the whiskey world than to proof yourself back down. Uh, once you get used to those high proofs, I feel it's very hard to yeah. come back down. Even still, as far as comparing to other 90 proof bottles, I feel like this in recent memory is kind of middling. Hydration. And so <clears throat> taking the price into consideration, I would, I would much rather have something like a Maker's 46. Oh, for sure. Um, Oh, that's a good bottle. We got to do that one next. Yeah, I think it's forty-six for sure. Sure. All right. This is good. All right. You know what? Let's all just right, let's that, just get into now, the double O. Let me tell all my whiskey friends something. You know, I've heard many, many stories about the Woodford Reserve Double Oak, and I've been drinking whiskey for about two years now. Um, this is my first time ever having Woodford Reserve Double Oak. 
How about you? Yeah, also my first time. I think after after Woodford Reserve and trying some other whiskeys, we thought it's nice, but it wasn't phenomenal. Bosh. And then the way higher price point of the Woodford Double Oaked kind of has kept us. I mean, it's on the shelves pretty much all the time. All the time. Uh, whenever we walk in the store, and I would say maybe even the past six months has kind of been one of those where, at least for me, I'm looking at it and I'm like, do I want to give it a try? Do I want to? Nice. Do I want to actually buy? Thank you. This... <laughs> give me Do that. I want to buy this bottle? Do I want to give it a go? Or is it a bit too expensive? That and I feel like we've been a little. Uh, we've found other uh, more oakier bourbons to be a little strong in the oak. Very oaky. I'm not a big oak guy. Well. Kind of. I'm well, a smooth just, oak guy. I don't want to get smacked in the face with the yeah, tree. We, the oak, we like to be there, but there's so <laughs> Pappy many. Van Winkle 23 here. <laughs> there, there's so many other whiskeys that have uh, overpowering oak notes that are mm. really a bit much. I'm liking that a lot. I get like kind of like a chocolatey. 100% chocolate vanilla. Like a chocolate brownie. Mm. Oak is there, but again, it's not a dry oak. It's, it's like a sweet oak, which I really like. Almost a little tobacco. Tobacco deep vanilla. Maybe a Madagascar vanilla. Yeah, very rich. A little sweet vanilla. Coconut? I'm going to be crazy. I get stuff out of here that's... It wouldn't jump out to me as coconut. I get coconut. All right. First time trying Woodford Reserve Double Oak. One of the highly spoken for bourbons out there. Highest spoken for bourbons. That was a good one. You know, that one you can is definitely more complex. You can taste a lot more of the char. The yeah. Sure. Char, but I feel like that brings out really nice um, caramel notes and sweet notes. It's not like over your over the top smoky, in my opinion. Very sweet, very well balanced. Um, I think the proof might hit a little bit more on this one than the regular, which I'm surprised because my experience with Double Oak is it lowers the proof. Yeah, did we say the proof for this one? And it's also 90.4. It's mm. the same exact proof as the regular. I mean, first impressions, it drank, I would say, a lot smoother. And while I, I think it definitely has a lot of darker, like a darker flavor profile, definitely more, a bit more oak and char. But I think it was, I actually like it a lot more than the regular Woodford. It is tasty for sure. Um, maybe that little bit of proof I'm tasting is actually more complexity because it's really building towards the middle and back of the palate, um, which I really enjoy. The finish is nice. The finish just goes down. It just keeps building. Yeah. Which I think is actually quite unbelievable for a 90 proof bourbon that I can do that. To me, mostly the only yeah, time... Yeah, it does drink almost higher proof because it doesn't seem watered down. No. Like, I'm probably about... Probably about 20 seconds in for my last sip, and I'm still building with the finish. Can you imagine a cast strength double oak? That I think it, it I, I have the same worries that it would be a little strong. But see, I'm a proof guy. I love proof. The proofier, the better. Where's my proof people at? Comment below. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Whiskey Bible. We forgot to add that in the beginning. They might, have, oh, they, they might have turned us off by now. Yeah, they, they because be, we didn't tell them to like and subscribe. Because we didn't tell them to like and subscribe. Be sure to like and subscribe. Did we say that? Yeah. We did say not. that. We did say that. It doesn't hurt, though. Maybe they forgot. Maybe they forgot. Comment below if you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
right. Yeah, we'll see if that stays in. But, I think it will. I don't know. Let's go back to the regular Woodford. I still have that oakiness on my palate from that double oak. It's actually, but it's a really nice oak. It's not an overpowering oak, which I really like. Yeah, that's the kind of the the happiest takeaway for me is that it's actually a nice, balanced whiskey. I feel like a lot of times things that are labeled as double oaked or twice barreled or extra aged, they really, it almost feels like they just take those early oak flavors from the barrel and they aren't patient enough to wait for any sweetness or, or anything more complex than just that initial, you know, it's almost like they run it through a charred barrel for 20 minutes and they're like double barreled. Let's put it on the shelves. Double oaked. This is that double oak is nice. It's complex and it's got, uh, it sets itself apart nicely from the standard Woodford reserve. Like it's worth having it, uh, separately bottled and another product on the line. How about, how about an, I'm going to mention another, bourbon here that will be in a future video what about a blind between this doubled oak uh woodford and elijah craig toasted barrel hmm that could be quite interesting back to woodford reserve for the fifth time all right here we go what is this one this is the regular one To me, the regular Woodford Reserve is your basic, you know, bourbon. I don't know. Basic bourbon. Nothing special about it. Nothing that would make me go out of my way to purchase it. In fact, the only reason why we purchased it is for you guys right here. Because <laughs> yeah. we tried it once and we were not fans. So. I think... And thanks to the coupons that our liquor stores are running. We got $12 off these bottles. So I thought that was pretty nice. Yeah, I think it's a nice bourbon, but it's a little simple for something, you know, for for something I would sip on regularly. It's not it it's not quite up to snuff. Evan Williams bottled and bond would beat this every day of the week. In my opinion. Wow, <laughs> sure, hundred percent, uh, right? It's higher proof. It's way cheaper. Way better for a, a rum and coke, maybe. Wait a minute, rum and coke and you're putting bourbon in it? Wouldn't that be a bourbon oh. and coke? <laughs> it's okay. He had a few before the video started. <laughs> All right. Whiskey and coke. Whiskey and coke. Now that's a bourbon. Yeah, that's my favorite rum is Evan Williams bottle and bond. I bet you didn't know they made rum. Neither did I. Ooh, rum cast finished. Evan Williams bottle and bond. All right, we're getting sidetracked again. Do you <laughs> taste your look? I'm... Done already. See, like I said I, in I'm the about, beginning of this video, I'm about to I'm finish the, the Woodford uh, <laughs> Reserve regular. Woodford Reserve regular. These videos get more fun as you go along. I'm going back and forth. Ooh, I'm getting maple syrup on the double oak now. Smell that right now. Maple is coming through big time for oh, me. Oh wow! Whoa, Captain Insano. That is... Can we put him in the video? Can we edit him in? Sure. You're smart. Captain Insana. That is... It's very dramatic. It, I wish we had smell a vision Wow. Because that was... You know, I'd like to take credit and say that I got a bit of it at the beginning. But... That's kind of cheating at this point. But now it's, it's pretty much somebody swapped out my bourbon. For maple syrup. Kind of has a Widow Jane Decanence, that maple finish. Kind of small. Comes in even smoother. Just pure silk. And then it just builds from the back end. That's really nice. It's a really nice bourbon. Yeah, very. This I would. This I can sip on. This is one that I would, well, I would buy it regularly. I think, if I remember correctly, this is around $62. 62 in our state. Um, you can find it over in Jersey. 
uh, right across the bridge from us for, I saw it for 51 today. Um, I was going to jump on it, but um, we didn't know if this video was going to happen today. And by the time we decided that we were going to do it, our local store is five minutes up the road. So. I think with the coupon, it, it said it was 55. Not bad. Not bad. All right. I'm going to give my final thoughts here. Um, you go ahead. I'm going to finish off my... Right, finish off. Yeah, I'm already... I'm, go, I'm, I'm empty. I know. I've been... I'm empty. Where's the camera? Keeping an eye on you. So, um, we'll rate these out of 10. Woodford Reserve Regular. Um, out of 10, I would score that a 5. 5 and a half, I would score that one. Um, Double Oaked Woodford. Out of 10, I would score a seven and a half, seven and a half to an eight. I'm like half a point above you. I was thinking, I was thinking six and eight. It beats me six and eight. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's nice enough to, to be sipped on its own or at least in a cocktail. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try and shoot it and give it away to friends. I think it's nice enough of a bottle. The double oaked to me stands out. It's got a lot of nice flavors. It's not too oaky, but the oak is present. And I think that that extra step is adding a lot to the product. The Woodford, regular. Eh. You got It's a rite of passage. You have to try. I feel like most people do it's try. Brand. You have to yeah. try. So. Yeah, I think that's about I think it. That's about it. So. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining in for the first episode of the Whiskey Bible. I think we did pretty good. A lot less bloopers than I thought we would have, but then again, we're going to rewatch this. So yeah, we'll, we'll watch it, and we'll, we'll we'll have to refilm the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, yeah. To, so. we'll see. But, well, thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and hope to see you next time.